Hey guys, this is Jen Paslap. I'm here in New York City with my very old friend Michael Terrell, the beloved poet. And we're near our old stomping ground of NYU. And for my Read More Poetry project, he is going to read one of his beautiful poems. And uh, bear with the noise, it's like you're part of the New York City environment. <laughs> Tune in, read his lips like I do. This poem is called Falling Stars. And it was originally in a magazine called The Adroit Journal. The dispensary opens early, sunlight hitting the grass, so the toxins get burned away for a little while. Every month, a line of people outside the low brick building. The ones walking out carry small cardboard boxes. I pass this place on my way home. I've been out all night. I read a report yesterday about meteor showers, beautiful rare occurrences according to the report, and went to look falling asleep in the field, believe it or not, waking with an animal clicking too close to my ear. I'm not sure I saw anything bright fall from heaven. My best friend calls them bad omens. Falling stars, she calls them. She sees bad things even in the sky these days. See those clouds up there, she says? The government sprays them to keep us under control. I have a disease because of it. There are fibers growing from my skin. You don't have to believe me. I'm used to not being believed. Last week, she said she saw a man licking a payphone at the commuter station. He did it quickly, guiltily, like a shoplifter. But when he was finished, he held his head high, as if this, by whatever design, was his lot and nobody else's. We don't know what to call this place, my friend and I. Purgatory or Eden? How about middle of nowhere? Falling star, maybe. We see everyone more than once, but we don't know the exact borders. And there's the problem of the woods that runs against the commuter tracks. What do we call the woods and what the train? We think the woods are like a flock, as if the trees were sheep surrounding a wolf. And the wolf, singular, it runs 18 minutes past the hour. And we see everyone more than once, like the tall boy and his ancient mother, who are made fun of by the others on the school bus for chasing each other around the front yard, where you might see a landlocked boat. I walk home and see these yards, these boats. A little woman ahead of me, all stoop-backed, her hair knotted, to the top of her head like the tie on the sausage casing, carrying a little box under her arm from the dispensary. What's in that, my friend would say if she were walking beside me. Food, I'd say. Uh, bread, cheese, maybe rice. Come on now, she'd disagree. It's not just food, it's food and something else. They don't want people like that to make children. What about us, I might point out. We have no children. We're the smart ones, would be her answer. There are baby hatches in public offices in Europe now. When you get too poor, you put the baby in, so the state claims it. My friend knows these things. She works at the hotel near the station. Every day she checks the world in, listens to its numerous complaints. Nights, she sends it room service. I'm the one with time on my hands. Even the busy little woman walking ahead has more destination. I could follow her, see how she opens the box, makes a day from what comes from the box. I go home. There's a mailbox in front, a tree, no boat. Maybe if I had a good mysterious disease like my friend, I could find a pen pal. I can't have a garden. I don't know my exact borders. Next door, a lot of trees, the remains of a house. Somehow a door always gets left, like the babies in my friend's stories. It might be easy to get in. Everything but the sky is locked up around here after dusk. The dispensary, the station. I wonder if anyone would. Such a baby would need luck. So many trees there and the roar of the train. The animals that click by dark, not the ones that click by day. I could keep the baby. My friend could warn it. Purgatory, middle of nowhere, 
Eden, falling star, together, what to call it. So beautiful. Thank you. Thank um, you. Tell us a little something about yourself. Well, something about your fabulous yeah. self. <laughs> well, that poem was uh, based on a town where I grew up in Long Island, uh, sort of one-stop light town, nice. and a good friend of mine who I've, I've known for uh, 25 years, I think, um, we've always sort of called ourselves twins. People mistake us for brother and sister, so it was, it's really like one of the first poems rooted in our, our growing up together in that place, so I'm, I'm really uh, honored to share it with you. And, and Jenny, it's so good to see you. You too. I love you. Um, I love you too. Read more poetry, guys. Find him. Uh, the name of your uh, site is... All of Them Witches. Which I love. Yeah. <laughs> all of Them Witches. Here's to all the witches and all the great poets in the world like Michael Terrell. And like you. 